below. So in this video today, we're going to be building upon with our, what we did in the last video. So as a recap, what we did in the last video is we deployed the single AMI instance of Business Rush Container Edition from AWS Marketplace. So I currently have, have that running on my AWS account. And we also generated the base image that we can use on that um, AMI as well. What I'm going to want to do now is I'm going to want to develop a project locally. So in this case, I have it I'm doing it on a separate VM. Um, develop a project, and I'm going to push it up into my ECR, um, AWS ECR my repository, and then I'm going to pull it down um, on my other AMI, and I can deploy it and run it from there as well. And so the use case for this might be where you might have multiple people working, and they can be pushing into repositories. Then you have a centralized location where it might be deployed. So your AMI might be where you might um, where you decide to deploy everything in that location. Um, so um, just quickly run what I've already done. Um, so I just created a new project, and it was just a simple REST server that just returns a string. Um, and I already created the image. So if you notice here, I single AMI and tagged to my ECR repository. And if you notice, I already pushed it onto my um, ECR um, my repository. So essentially all that has been done. If, if you need any help or need to uh, think of how do you actually do this, um, one of the previous videos, we actually go through this, um, all the steps of actually creating your image and pushing it up in DCR. So I suggest checking that out or check the documentation site on um, AWS. So they have some good information on that as well. So now that we have this available, what we want to do is we go to, um, so if I go to my services, EC2, you'll see that my instance is still running. And if I um, go here, my terminal, I already have. I'm already SSH into it. So um, if I do Docker images, um, as like in the last video where we left it out, we have our our base BWC image. So in order to actually pull our image from ECR onto um, this AMI, there's a couple things you have to do first. First thing you need to do is make sure that you have your access key and your secret access key set. And so in order to do the, do that, you can do AWS configure. And here I'll prompt you for your access key and your secret access key. Um, and so this is needed. This is uh, you get these from your IAM um, credentials. But this is needed in order to actually be able to authenticate and access your repository. I already have them set here, so I'm just going to hit enter. But these all ha these have to be set and they have to be working and they have to be active keys. And if I go into AWS, um, how you find them is if you go to um, here. Um, like my security credentials, then you can see if you scroll down, um, I believe it's under users, and then you click on your actual username, and you'll see that you have uh, security credentials, and you'll see your different access keys. Um, so you need to either create them or use one that you already have before that's currently active, it's your choice. So once you've done that, um, you set it in AWS configure, and now, um, now that that's done, you can um, now be able to access your ECR repository. So in order to log in, once again, you need to do that um, that, that login that is um, asked for on the repository service. So if we go back there, go back to our repository, and we click on view push commands, we need to we just copy this, and I'll paste that. And this will return our Docker login key, so we need to copy that. and paste it. And you'll see that the login has succeeded. So now we should be able to have access and the ability to actually um, either pull or push images from our AWS repository. And so now what we want to do is we're just going to do a simple Docker pool. So it's going to be Docker pool, um, and it's whatever the URI is. So once again, you just, I'm just going to take the URI, just copy that, and the tag. So paste. The tag is single AMI, let me make sure. Yep. So now it's going to actually um, pull this image for me. And it's going to, I'm going to be able to use it. I, I built it on a different device. I'm going to essentially pull it onto my, a newer or a different VM or a different location, and I'm going to use it and deploy it. So now if I do Docker images, you'll see that I, ha I have this image available. Yeah, I'm just create eight minutes ago. 
And so if I actually want to deploy this, then it's just a matter of just doing a simple Docker run for 8080-8080. And um, I just specify what the actual um, AMI is or the image name is. So I'm going to just copy that and then paste single AMI. Hit run. And I, did, I made it to the logs will stream, so it's fine. Um, I could have made it so it doesn't show, but just for the sake of showing that it's actually going to be running, then it's, it's fine as well to check that as well. So we we'll just wait for the logs to finish. And um, then we should be good to go. So it's a way how you can deploy applications onto your um, your new single AMI. Um, there's also a few other things you can do as well. So let's say um, let's say you wanted to you do make a private repository. Well, you can use the AMI to build the private repository as well, and then um, deploy your images onto that as well. Um, in this case, in, in a lot of cases, you probably will be pushing it up to a central repository, so either it being AWS or maybe Docker Hub, and then you could always pull it down onto this AMI that might be where your runtime is going to be. And it's a good way, if you have, let's say, a Jenkins pipeline set up, then you don't have to manually SSH into it. You could have your Jenkins pipeline say, oh, when there's a new, um, a new change in the image, just pull it and then just uh, get it up and running, and we could have it up and running. So we see that our all applications the dependencies been filled and the applications have started. So now we know our um, business works project is actually running, and um, we can access it. So yeah, um, this is just a continuation of the last video. Um, if this is something simple that you can do with the uh, the AMI that's available on the AWS Marketplace for BWC.